Here we have a little bit of fun. We're gonna do some logical statements and see, determine whether or not they're true or false. So let's talk about the definitions and then we'll see whether or not some of these statements that might seem a little bit abstract are true or false. So we have four statements. We've determined whether or not each of them is true or false and then we'll go with these. So cats have four legs is defined to be P, that's true. Hens have two legs is defined to be Q, that's true. Cats lay eggs is false, so R is false and T, hens lay eggs, is true. So all we care about now is not these random statements here, but whether or not they're true or false. Then we're gonna use these symbols to determine whether or not these statements are true or false. So we need to go through these one at a time. What we have here with an upward carrot is and, a downward carrot is or. And here this or is exclusive, and I'll explain what that means in a second. So we have P and T. So what that says is true and T is so true and true. So the question is, is true and true true? In fact, yes it is. Okay, so this is true. A bit strange, but that's how it works. So P or V, true or, excuse me, R, uh, false, true or false. Is true or false true? Yes, true or false is always true. So that's true. Not P or Q. So not true, so false. Or Q, which is true. So false or true. So false or true is always true. R and Q. So what that says is false and true. So is false and true true? No. That is false. Not false, so true, or not true, so false. True or false is true. Here we have true and true, which is true. And then we have one last one. Not false, so true, and not true, so false. True and false is false. No. So we have true, 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 false, true, true, false.